Good morning and welcome to 1111 Tarot. Today we are going to focus on Scorpio and this is this is the thing. If we see the death card, don't be surprised because that is their major arcana card and being their fixed sign, um, it's very possible for it to show up. So this is a water sign and with that, let's go ahead and get started. Now, I don't necessarily do specific reads when I'm working with general reads. And what I mean by that is this is love, this is career, this is relationships, this is health, this is whatever you personally, if this is your message, need to know. Now there can be three different messages in this. And so when we get to the business part, financial, the mind, if you're not in for a change and that's not resonating, drop that at the door. If we get to the love part and it's not resonating, but the business part did, then leave the love at the door and so forth with your overall um, environment. Okay. If the, so like I said, it's not for everyone, of course. And at the same time, everyone can get something out of every read because it's blessings. I communicate directly with the divine and only wish to share the information that is with good intent for the best outcome. I ask for complete guidance and I've already smudged, so we are good to go. I would like to start with the Moonology deck. The I always have a hard time getting started with the camera. There we go. Yasmin Boland. All right. So let's cut this deck and get started. S Scorpio, I feel, my dears, that um, there is change in a major way for all of us in the month of September. So these reads that I'm starting off my channel with, um, I have felt intense activity coming our way for a while. I think when we look at the world, you know, and what we're going through on a world level, it's quite shocking. So for everyone, just remember that exterior worries, exterior concerns other than your love life or your work life could be filtering into your energy vortexes. And so you may not be able to apply this to a very specific person or event. However, if you look at the bigger picture of your life, that's what my reads do because we dig into the subconscious. And the subconscious is where our moon sign takes us. Um, it's well where our emotions are triggered, whether they're good or bad. Um, intense or just they we need to get them up to the surface so the more the more we work on our shadow side we get our our as above as below as within as without and it balances us so that's why i do this but i did cut this and let's go ahead and turn over your first card wow have faith in your dreams well, you're already a very driven, passionate, dedicated person that probably has the lead in your life. It's a waxing crescent moon, but I don't think that when it says dreams, I don't think it just means what you aspire to. It could mean you've been dreaming physically of something as well. I see flowers, um, absolutely beautiful here. So this could be about a whole new beginning that you're hoping for. We'll read this at the end of the read. We'll go into the book itself and find out a lot more. So let's keep that in mind as we go forward with this. Now, what we're going to focus on right now is where are we like in our mind? And this can be like financial career. It can be like your thinking of a plan maybe you're going to build something or you're creating something maybe it's entrepreneurial um like i said you know your own business maybe it's something online i mean i've said that i feel like i feel like you're thinking about a new project and so we're going to go ahead with these quite a bit of shuffle i totally like to um 
really get the cards to a point I feel they're aligned. So you may want to kind of cut the chase, fast forward till you see the cards being laid down. That can help. Whoa! Oh, you've definitely got a lot of eggs in your basket. Yeah. You're very, very um, feeling overwhelmed, perhaps. Or you have a lot going on around you. I'm just going to make sure I didn't lose a card. That was... It exploded. This is going to be an explosive read. Somebody is going to feel much more energetic after this read. Maybe this is to give you a little bit of faith if it resonates with you because that was that was explosive. I'm excited for this read now, you guys. Before I was like, okay, we'll see what comes out. But now I'm like, wow, that's some serious energy. Okay, let's try this again. What I'm doing basically is just giving the cards a unique type of shuffle to get them aligned. As I said before, the energy itself will give me heads up when it's ready. I think we would have been ready if it hadn't exploded. <laughs> uh, maybe somebody is feeling angry, jealous. I kind of feel like somebody's on an angst they're like Argh! you know like grr, grr. it's not going my way or they're either really excited about a business or they're really emotionally in their heart i just feel a very strong powerful energy i can feel it so i'm going to set the crystal up there on our moonology cards and let's get going okay so somebody is feeling triumphant yeah let's get another card oh they had a tower moment oh I told you told you I hate to say I told you but I felt it you guys I was sharing with you so they've had a huge tower moment let's dig a little deeper you guys oh wow the Hierophant so let's go over this you got the six of wands right Let's spread that out for a second. Followed by the tower. Followed by the high priest. Whew, what a start. I'm like, ooh, the energy is in so intense. Okay. So I'm not going to go really, really deep because that is one thing I've got to remember when I'm doing um, the general reads for everybody. Now, being that this is in our mind, um, can be career. It, it, it's whatever you've wrapped your mind around, whatever this says. I feel like you feel victorious because you've had a breakthrough, like a serious breakthrough. And if this is work related, you are going to have the blessing of your, um, how do I put it? Smooth sailing through the legal parts to get the business going. Like you've got both keys. You've got it all. It's a material go, go, go. Now, if this is more or less a breakthrough on a mental lock you were having, and that's what either way it is, your crown chakra is getting awakened to this new absolute way to go. Like you're starting to understand your decision is weighing out the way you want it to. Things are in your favor. It's yes. It's a go. All right. So we're going to, we're going to leave the celebration card up on the top on here. We will be coming back to this, but uh, we need to know more. So I want to get into, you know, that, that right there is your mind. That's your business world. That's your, that's what your mind's been working on. And we have had an epiphany, it looks like, and came out a victor. Oh, yeah. Okay, so your spirit side, this is the Six of Swords. You're moving out of choppy waters. You see that? Yep. You're just going to the calmer place. You're going to this other island. So this could be a literal move that you're feeling. Like maybe you just woke up and you're like, yes, I am going to move. It could be physical to a home. It could be moving in on this idea. But you are being inspired to move and 
to get away from the drama. You're just done with the drama or done with the night. Um, I said night, like done with the thoughts at night. You're going to start healing and letting yourself rest. It's th the decision I feel has been made. Let's get clarifier. Yeah. Oh, wow. You have the queen of swords. Cuts everything out that isn't working. That makes sense. You're like, this isn't working. To be in this locked, indecisive place, I'm going to move to calmer shores. I'm going to make a decision. One more clarifier. Seven of Wands. I kind of feel like for a while, you've been back, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, like almost like defending the idea a little bit. But now you are absolutely moving to the calmer side of things. You've spoke your you spoke your piece. Yeah. So let's put this moving to calmer waters. Decision has been made right in the middle there. And I think that brings some rest to your spirit. I really do. You feel victorious about this. An epiphany went off and you were like, yes, yes. I am so happy for you guys. Let's see how your physically, your environment is... Um, more or less involving this. How is it affecting it? We're going to get three. So right away we've got, oh, <laughs> what a spread, you guys. I'm so happy. I am so happy for you guys. Okay. You have completion. This indeci indecisiveness, this, this decision or this idea, you are going to put down the mental baggage and you are going over there to that beautiful city and you are going to explore this. It's a yes again because you're done with this. See, he's got the wands. He turned the swords that are all stabbed in their back and they feel this idea is dead. Like it's never going to happen in a million years. It is just been, it's overkill, literally. This Ten of Swords is completion. You have completed the feeling of pain. You are moving along. You're taking another Ten, another completion. And you're moving to this beautiful paradise. And you are going to feel that load come off your back. Yeah, you've turned your Ten Swords into Ten Wands. And their ideas, they're blooming all over. And this is going to feel incredible. Because the universe is with you. The universe just handed you its cup of love. Absolutely exquisite read. I personally claim this read with you. Scorpio, your passion and your driven and, and, and so these close relationships that you have stayed in tune with, even though you're kind of a solo private person, the very ones that you held close to you, I feel are going to come into play at this city. Like you're going to refuge with them. And this is going to be like a full throttle idea. I am, I am so impressed with this. A cup of love, you guys, from the universe. Now this can be a passion for... This can be a passion for your idea. This can be a new love. This can be um, a whole new beginning in your life. You've been victorious. Have faith in your dreams. Is this, I'm going to ask you, is this confirmation, this reading, to tell you that, yeah, that faith you had in your dreams, it's real? It's effectively working? Yeah, I think so. We'll read this at the end. Well, that's impressive. I am so excited for you. Now let's get to a chakra work. So when you're, I need to grab a drink real quick. It's like my mouth is really dry. My throat is dry. And <clears throat> I think this person's been like celebrating um, over this. They're not like celebrating that they stepped on someone, but they're celebrating that they stepped forward. They claimed the prize. And it could be that they claimed their self back. I mean, seriously, we let ourselves go so often with um, 
our hearts to travel here, our hearts to travel there. And they do get broke, but I think this person is healed and they are like ready to put their walking boots on and claim it, right? Yeah, they're claiming it. You're claiming yourself. I'm so excited. Okay. I know I just pounded the table like a million times. I apologize. I got to get used to a microphone while I do reads because normally these are done in a um, personal manner. But I have decided we do need guidance. And I'm used to being on camera because of the Rubber Ducky channel, which I'm going to be doing a live there today. So as this airs, it will be in the past by a day, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm moving everything over just to make room because we have to make three piles. So what we're going to work on is our chakras. The bottom chakra down here below this entire spree, spread, I almost said spree, <laughs> spree, yeah, you're going to be running, running around here like you are making a whole, you've had an epiphany. You went from yeah, I see like a race car in my mind and you've been sitting with your parking brake on and you've been trying to go forward and trying to go forward and you're just burning your tires and it's a drag race and you keep like getting passed by and you just keep saying, what is wrong? Now it's, it's the billionth time you've tried to go through this and, and you're working on it and you realize your parking brake was on. You put your parking brake off, you take it off and you are winning this race now. Yep. Yeah. And you're racing over to calm, the calmer waters. But calmer in a sense of no drama, like you got your, your shit figured out, you know? Okay, let's get our piles. This is right here is our pile that is for us to work on ourselves. And um, this is our nudge or stay. And then this, ooh, I left a lot. We must have a huge outcome. Big reveal or something. So that's up there, you guys. Take a deep breath, maybe get a drink of water, get your coffee, get your tea, settle in. This does take a little bit of work. It's the slowest part of this, but if we want to make this happen and take the highest path, that's what we're here for. Have faith in our dreams. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. You've got the fool, like the zero karma card. You're starting over. That's why we had completion, completion. Oh, what a beautiful card, you guys. Look at that radiant beauty, sexy, right? <laughs> no, seriously, very alluring, entrancing. And this could be male or female. It's the beginning. It's a whole new beginning. Like the slate swiped clean and that's your, <laughs> That's your chakra. So before we even do anything more with that, we've got to, it's a major arcana card. It's the first one. Oh, I, sometimes when uh, I do these reads, I get so emotional because I'm intuitive. And so I feel your energy and I'm like, oh, my heart is just like, da -da 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 -da. oh, I should introduce to you. The Chakra Wisdom Tarot by Tori Hartman. I absolutely love this for this project. It does it in so many ways. Like you have a zero, you have a six, and you have a six. You have a 10 and a 10. Let's look at this because you've got some serious numbers here. You've got two sixes and you have two tens. Tens are ones. So that would make sense. You're going from zero to one. That's really good. But also the tens are two completed cycles. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. So you have a one, you have a one, and you have a one. So you have three ones there plus the zero. You have the two sixes. You've got a queen and a seven. And you have got 16 and five. Interesting. I think the most important, let me straighten this back up before we read the full beginning. The most important thing you guys um, have going on here is that everything's a fresh start. You just completed your cycle. You're at 10, 10. 10 swords you've taken turned into magic. <laughs> you made lemon. You took lemons and you made like lemon ring pie, man. Yes. Yes, the fool. 
All right, so let's read. It's going to tell us a lot about the zero. It's going to tell us about the fool in the tarot. It's also going to tell us about this first chakra, okay? <clears throat> I'm just looking here. It says, the fool appears and visits the magician who introduces her to the four main symbols in the tarot. So when you look at the tarot cards to get the fool as your as your really deep subconscious work, it is incredible. Oh, I have my work alarm going off, but that's for a different day. So we can, oh, I snoozed it. All right, well, we have another alarm coming. Sorry, guys. The fool, the adventure begins. The roots of our fool's gown illustrate her connection to earth. Although they are part of her essential being, she will need to break free from these roots in order to travel the path ahead. The journey begins with her as she is us. Hot. I mean, this is going to be a very passionate beginning. I'm so excited. First chakra message. The first chakra card reveals our arrival with the beliefs challenges and natural characteristics we receive from our genes and so fits nicely into the grounding aspect of the root chakra our roots are where we source our life from wow our roots are where we source our life from transparent no it says transplant your roots change your life this is a whole new life somebody is starting brand new and we're part of this indication rooted in beliefs that you will need to break free from family restrictions, choosing a new route in life. Wow. Keywords, beginning, journey, risk. Now, I, I can never say one word per read, right? And I know the word. I know how to be naive naivety i can't say the word you guys help me starting a fresh newness and bravery reversed no it's not so we're not going to read that let's go to planet sun the self survival our basic nature inherited so this is this is this new beginning is putting you back on the spiritual path that you were meant to be on for generations because that's what the subconscious works with and that's why every read boils down to where are we on our path and you are on the correct path you found it i think that's your life purpose i really do i hate to say that with a, a general read i'm just saying the people that this is really registering with are starting to find their their like life purpose so definitely you need any help i'm here i do personal reads we can get more in detail of what that life purpose entails because yes you have a brand new beginning if you're interested in that read my information is in the details below this video okay our basic nature inherited the fool is in the first chakra is like your sun sign it is your basic nature right now at the time of this reading what is your current outlook what is your temperament in other words do a check on yourself make sure that you're shiny and it's a brand new exciting beginning even if you don't know what it is you have a clean slate be very excited with that um, it is going to be incredible I assure you and the more we get into this read and we get into our blessings and the gifts that are coming our way the more intense this is gonna be seriously meditation if there is no need to stay attached to the past that no longer defines you. It is time to choose a new route. What kind of foundation do you need to build your life? Wow! Every time I do a read, it's so intense with this new shadow work spread, which the divine gifted this work to me and said, you know, do this work with people because it gets to it. Sweetheart, I'm live recording new steps and yes this is real life i don't edit it's dogs kids neighbors whatever new steps with no knowledge of the world or what she will need or he needs the fool will venture on to discover her emotional power 
If feelings are conjured, will she need a magician? Will you? Wow. So the next stop, you guys, is to learn magic because that's what the fool does. So you're starting off with, with you know, you're, <laughs> you're the newbie in the game here, but newbie in the awakened state of being able to work with divine powers. Yeah, if you get the magician, it'll be very interesting because that would be the fool learns magic. How impressive. All right, Miss Tabitha. Remember Bewitched? Baby Tabitha was learning. Yeah, don't make an elephant in your bedroom. How do you explain it to the neighbors? So the next card that we're going to do here is the Nudger Stay. And what the Nudger Stay does is it gives us, you literally have to look at this card both ways in this position. We don't get to choose. It's, it's basically the two outcomes that are, there are many, many millions of outcomes. These are the two ones that are currently being in opposition. So the Ace of Wands. Oh my God. This person has the ability being offered to them. This is another Ace, the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Wow. The universe is offering its love to you. And we're going to, this read's going to become absolutely beautiful because we're going to find out how many ways, because this is, this right here is your stay or nudge. So right now you are being offered this passionate new ability. Maybe it's to love yourself. You have to look at it this way. Look at it upside down and think about a new perspective of this. Now, this could be a problem if you're egotistical. I say that because I feel like ego with magic could be very dangerous in our world. She leans on that pole like, yeah, I got this. Yeah, I got this. I'm beautiful. I got the power right here in my wand. Don't mess with me. Or that's that could be. Or you could turn this to a new perspective and put yourself in the hangman and make sure you look at it and go, I got this gift from the divine and I need to help others. I need to, to be the one using my wand to be the guide to the path, to the light. Do you see the sunshine up there in these stairs? This gift is to lead others to the light. Yes, you could think of it as an ego trip, but it's not there for that. This is magic that is being guided to you in a giving way. I do feel the need to look at this Ace of Wands, and normally I don't read that one, um, but I'm in the Moonology card here, not where I want to be. Let me see. I think I put the book back even. We're going to come back to the Moonology card. We're going to read that. And I was trying to shorten my reads for you guys, but <clears throat> there are times when you just have to go with what you're guided to do. That's what I'm here to do. Let's get into the red section and let's look at this. So this is a minor arcana and it refers to the first chakra as well. So it's the root chakra in both situations. Yeah, and that's at the base of the spine, in this spine, and it deals with Earth, and it's the color red, and it's the planet Sun. So this could be a Leo that um, influences you if this is a person, because Ace of Wands could be where you're, you're in tune with someone else in a very passionate event, and uh, you did have that epiphany in your mind, so you might be working with someone. First chakra meaning... Let me grab a drink again. I've got to get a drink of water before I read these. I'm very impressed with this read. Um, you know, we know we're going back into retrograde with Mars, and that's your planet, Mars, Pluto. But at the same time, keep in mind that overall, you are just so focused that I really honestly think you'll put it all in your favor. 
I think you might be solo a lot, but there might be one person coming in, this Ace of Wands. There might be somebody coming, we'll see, that you could accept in your in your solo world. It says the first chakra represents our current energetic source. So here she is, this lovely lady. This chakra is about foundation, our family roots, and our very DNA. It is also... It also houses family beliefs that may hold us back. It is an opportunity handed to us from the Creator, as represented the Aces, or where we begin again, as in the Aids. The new beginnings in the red card can reveal to us who had, or who and where we are in the journey through the chakras. There is that alarm. See, we're being woke up. That's why the alarm's going off. You're getting woke up. That was your epiphany. Yeah, you guys are waking up. You're starting to understand how to take the strife that you're feeling and go to calmer waters because you are realizing you have more control working with the divine. That's what I'm going to say right here. Um, the aces. The aces, which is what you have you have two aces actually you have the ace of cups and the ace of wands at this point the aces offer us the raw power one moment i thought i saw another ace no okay i really think there's going to be though i think we're going to see three of them i don't know why i feel that way sorry squirrel the aces offer us with the raw power of the first chakra to dive deeply into where and how we source our energy. Yeah, you've been sourcing your own energy, which depletes very easily. I think part of the full lesson is that when I say we, I mean, whoever is meant to view this, we are going to learn to source it, the energy direct from divine. In tarot, they are a gift from our creator in the first chakra. They come from our family roots. This combines two polar opposites, one from the above, as in the tarot, and the other one from our DNA. The first chakra invites you to forgive your own path, and an ace reminds you that at this time, the force is with you. These cards may indicate whether we sustain or abandon our dreams. Oh my golly, we haven't even got to have faith in your dreams, our overall. We're reading our Ace of Wands definition, and then it says these cards may indicate whether we sustain or abandon our dreams, right? So have faith in your dreams. Stay with it. Now, I'm not going to go into complete detail on the Ace of Wands. Am I? I guess I am. Wow. Because it's the direct message. So Ace of Wands, the card of confident creativity. Yeah, you're creating something brand new. That's why you have the Ace of Wands, because you are the creator and you're just realizing it. You've paired up with the creator and you've become part of the creator. This wand is an offering from above and is summoning the force of manifesting. The universe is converging to inspire forward movement on your dreams. Chakra message. Light from the red crystal illuminates the path ahead. I'm losing like I'm getting a really hoarseness. I feel, yes, there's a warning you guys. Oh my golly, the reason my throat is getting like this is because be very, I said Tabitha, remember bewitched? Her words were magic. Your words. Your words create. And I'm not talking just a little awareness. I'm talking you now have stepped into the fool's position. And you are Tabitha. If you speak too much about an elephant in your bedroom, you will create something to that effect. Your words have to be really thought about. Wow. Let me grab a drink. That's what this... That's why this is the stay or nudge or the nudge or stay. You need to make sure that you keep your heart aligned with good intent so that your words, oh yeah, you're going to need to take <clears throat> a whole new perspective to your life indeed. 
Okay. Remember, we talked about that lighted path. Make sure your ego isn't saying, yeah, look at me. I'm just leaning here against this pole looking sexy right here on the street in my beautiful evening gown with my big jeweled light. But actually, you're not resting on your laurels. You're, you're guiding the path using that light to get people to safety. Honestly, you will be. It says, light the red crystal illuminates the path ahead. You will be summoned forward into your next steps. You may not see that you are ready, yet all the signs are there. Imagine them. Indication the, the idea is right. Let's go. That's what this this tower moment is. It's, it's like the old ways crumbled away and you're stepping right into it. Open hand, ready to receive. Open heart, ready to receive. Contemplate your talents. Are bold necessary moves? I'm not able to read this today. Are bold moves necessary? Why am I having problem reading? Can you feel the energy your creativity is taking form? Will you nurture it? Keywords, opportunity, breadth, <laughs> emerging, expansion, new possibilities, revised. Allow, no, where am I? I need a minute. This is an intense read. Like somebody is literally waking up. Like a lot of people are waking up at once. Scorpio, it's like happening right now. Like that's what you've been going through. Your creativity is taking form. Will you nurture it? Keywords, opportunity, breadth, emerging, expansion, new possibilities. Meditation. Allow the crystal wand of the fire to ignite your root energy. A gift, a mysterious adventure, and a bold move are all possible. Can you see it? You are ready for a new creative identity. Breathe. Only you know this vibrational frequency. Contemplation. Experience igniting your spiritual, magnetizing frequency that is alive in your first chakra. How intense, like I'm vibrating, you guys. <clears throat> it's affecting my throat. I'm going to get another drink. I'm going to learn to keep my cough drops handy. I don't have any illnesses over my throat to be literally that hoarse. It's recovering now all on its own. Like when I was reading that, I was being drawn into a vision that um, a lot of people are waking up like... Um, and are kind of like going, wow, I have the ability to create my own reality. And that's that took me back a little because that's an impressive thing. I appreciate that. Um, you do. That's your tower moment. And that's what the universe has been trying to give to you. Is that when you love yourself, the universe reflects that back and says, I love you too. Here are your gifts. But you know, this is all free will. And we can't accept gifts unless we accept gifts, right? Okay, one of my favorite decks, and I say that quite often when I grab this deck. See? Every read, the Moonology. What if we move the Moonology card? We'll put it one back. Every read, I no matter how I do it, I knock the Moonology card deck over the box. We will someday know that, why that is. <laughs> uh. I just find it funny because I can move it anywhere, but I still knock it over no matter what. This is the Good Tarot by Colette Baron reed Absolutely exquisite deck. I don't know if you can see. Oh, a six of fire at the bottom. Um, we're going to give it a good shuffle, but look at the beautiful colors. Absolutely beautiful deck. Yep, the Good Tarot. So this has already been pre-shuffled and uh, all these decks have been cleared and everything was prepared prepared, sorry, for the read prior, but I do like to give it a little bit better of a, let's see, can I do these a different way to really give them, I don't like to bend the cards too much because these are very large cards and they're stiff like boards, but they're beautiful. They're just really good quality, you know, 
let's cut this deck out. I like to do three piles. All righty, righty, righty. We're going to need three piles because we're going to need the subconscious. We're going to need the material world and the heavens. So the material world is your midline your midsection if you're in your birth chart and so forth. Now, I am just learning birth charts because my gifts did not come from school. My gifts came to me as a child. I was a seer. I could scry. I could look into old black and white photos and see what was going on beyond what was being photographed. I shared it with just a couple adults and they didn't understand it. And they just shut me down. They were like, don't do that. Don't tell anybody you can do that. And so I started off fearful, and that's a programming that could be um, being spoken of in that last read with the first chakra, is your root chakra, your family, and um, where your beliefs are. When you wake up, that's a hard thing to swallow. It really is. So we're going to put our, talking about root, we're going to put our root down here, which is our um, subconscious work here, which is the mind, but at the same time. That's what your entire chakra system works off of. Here we go. Eight of fire. Wow. Something is very fast paced moving. Quickly something needs addressed. I, I should have looked up Panda. I had this the other night in a different placement in a different read. I want to say it was Aquarius. I... Every time I see this panda bear, I'll be honest, I worry about kids. He looks cute. He looks adorable. There's a child with a balloon in the background. But don't, don't forget that's a bear. I feel like really quickly, um, it's kind of like, this is, okay, I'm getting a completely different message. This is like, Daniel in the lion's den. This is the child and the the panda bear. This is a bear, a panda bear. Some protection is in place because you are the fool and this is magical. And while you've got, yeah, the little kid has a wand. Okay, so this is what you need to remember. You do have protection in place at this time on manifestation. And because of that, you need to consistently um, ask that the divine only allow you to manifest the things that are for your greater good and the greater good of others. Don't forget that. That is absolutely a very important message. And that is in your shadow side. So you've got to remember, it's not just your spoken word that manifest. It's if you stay focused on something, if you stay focused on something over and over, even if you feel like it's the worst idea in the world, you could manifest that into fruition. So that's what Source is saying is your underground work, is you need to be very, very careful about your mindset, about making sure that you wish the best and love everyone. Yeah, three of waters. This is three cups. In this case, I do, I do feel like these are three pearls sitting in these clamshells um and often this is a time where you my stomach is crawling like winnie the pooh i apologize i haven't eaten um this is a time this is the mermaid this is the mermaid and she's got her three pearls look at that beautiful three gifts maybe i do feel like you're going to have that really tight-knit group that you, the ones that you know are your long-term people are going to be your assistants through this. I think that they won't see it as a breakdown, but um, I believe they will look at it as an epiphany, like you've come to a revelation in your life. And I think they'll be your most supporting people. Don't feel like you're losing your mind. You are waking up. And that's what waking up feels like sometimes. So our heaven, which is our gifts that are being bestowed upon us. Seven of air. How beautiful is that? Seven of air. It's, you're giving your wings. You can fly. You're very near flying. 
You haven't left the nest yet. You're protected by all the other birds, but you're getting ready to fly. There's going to be a lot of communication that um, I feel will lift you up and give you the support. Yeah, the communication from your support team is going to lift you up and uh, cure you because you are going to feel like you you survived the dark night of the soul. That's what this is. And you are waking up with a brand new, very beautiful beginning. And you are protected. That's what I feel in this situation. Quickly, you are protected. Remember your boundaries comes to mind. Um, don't let people take advantage of your new energy. Conserve it, but offer it when it really is needed. It's not a game and it's not something that's going to um, benefit you if you misuse it, of course. But I don't see that with you at all. I feel that that's what you're scared of. And I think that tradition is that you're not supposed to be magical. You know, that's what your, your upbringing was. But the divine gave it to you. The divine is. Let's get your outcome card. Five of Swords, Inner Conflict. Two swords are crossed like a decision. This could actually, I hate to say this. I just, I always got to be honest. You're awakening for those that are closest to you that um, don't understand it. They may turn their back on you and you need to understand that you're still on the right path. And that they aren't ready for it. That doesn't mean they won't turn around and come back soon. It doesn't mean that. It just means be prepared. But you know, Scorpio, I hate to, to remind you of this, but you do work best alone. However, because you're so dang efficient, in this case, you do have, you always have your people. One of them may not be able to handle it at first and may turn their back. Let's get a little clarifier on that before we go. Um, and we will do a free extended read at the time. Knight of Swords. Yeah, there's going to be some um, words spoken, some clarity. I don't know who this Knight of Swords is. They may come in and be your shoulder. While the other person may say, I can't do this. interesting I'm not sure on that I think we'll have to clarify the blue chakra in the extended because we have that as our outcome as the five of swords and the knight of swords but at this point what I do see is your outcome is that even though you are getting this brand new beginning it is going to affect your whole world and some people are going to come charging in to be with you and they're going to be there to help you and a lot of words are going to be said and there are others that may not be able to deal with this new you so you're you're emerging from your cocoon one more card just because we need it three of wands yep you now can see that you're looking forward for the direction. You're making plans now. This this new beginning is emerging for you. Three of Wands. And it could be with this Knight of Swords. I'm not sure. This Five of Swords is your energy. I promise you that. That's Scorpio energy. So then this, most likely, yeah, this is somebody else. Somebody's coming in to talk, and um, you're going to be thinking about it. You're thinking on it. We're going to dig deeper into this, this, this new opportunity that's coming your way, and you're going to be thinking about this position. But before we do that, let's get into our Moonology and wrap this up with Have Faith in Your Dreams. Look at this card. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Okay. And this is a waxing moon. So, as I said in every single read, 
I do not have a way to um, mark this book because you never know what card you're going to get. So here we go. Hopefully I can read now. It isn't the best lighting in here for me to read. Maybe that's it. It says, have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. And these are the moonology cards. And that's by, um, I'm trying to think who did the moonology. Yasmin Boland. Okay. Don't give up. The situation you're asking about is still taking shape. You're nowhere near the end of the story. Whatever is happening now is just a step along the way. As they say in the self-help classics, everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. Wow. If it's not okay, it's not the end. Awesome. However, the Waxing Crescent Moon card is a reminder that you must still keep working towards whatever it is that you want. If you can't take practical steps, spend time meditating on the question you're asking about and allow your higher self to download information to you about your next step, your best next step. Overall, this card suggests there is every reason to be hopeful for a very positive outcome to the situation you're asking about. So keep the faith. Yes. Attuned to the moon. I am focused on what I want. I am focused on what I want. I am focused on what I want. Additional meaning for this card. Just because you can't see your dreams, it doesn't mean they're not manifesting. And uh, stop there for a minute. That's what I was saying. Um, in the subconscious, you're also manifesting. So remember, this is about our shadow work to be very cautious that we're always manifesting or we're always thinking about the best possible outcome and self-doubt and negativity could manifest a negative result so keep in mind that even if you feel questionable about something and you go to imagine try to um, guide yourself to pivot the direction of your thinking into what if instead of saying well what if this boat has a hole in it just change it right away and go what if this bow is so strong that it, it just gets me to where I'm going? Wow, where would I go? And lead off that. Pick your footing well, you know. So it says, don't look back. Stay focused on moving forwards. So no past, no more past stuff, you guys. We're at the full level. Nothing from the past at this point is going to do us any good. We've had to shed the past. We've done our dark night of the soul. And Scorpio, I'm telling you, you have a clean slate. It says, be patient as events unfold. Dig a little deeper to find out more, to find more courage. Yeah, dig a little deeper in your faith. The teaching. The waxing crescent moon is the second moon phase in the eight main moon phases. But even if it's not the time of the waxing crescent moon when this card is pulled, it still suggests you need to really pursue your dreams. It is time to put your foot down hard as you choose your goal. Love it. Yeah, it's definitely this goal is your life plan. You have the divine saying, yes, let's do this. Let's do this. Um, and with that, I want to say thank you so much for joining me on this read. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you will hit the like button, subscribe. Please leave me a comment if it resonated with you and please join me again as we continue to grow. With that, much, much love, much light and namaste. Namaste.